Pool heaters fail early, usually from one of two things. One is the imbalance of the chemicals in the water. That is by far the most common. Um, a lot of people don't test their pool water as well as they should, or they don't have a fundamental understanding of water chemistry and how to properly balance the chemicals. And improper balance, especially of something like the pH or the sanitizer levels in the pool, can absolutely ruin a heater in a very short period of time. Um, so if you're experiencing a problem with early pool heater failures, um, probably the first thing you should do is take a look at your water chemistry and make sure that you are in fact balancing the water. The second most common reason that a pool heater might fail early is due to improper in installation. You might think, well, I hired a professional, it must be installed professionally, right? Well, that's not always the case. Um, not all installers are created equal, and uh, improper installation can and will uh, ruin the heater and can also vo void your warranty with the manufacturer. Uh, the most common cause for this would be installing a salt water chlorine generation cell downstream of the heater, but neglecting to add a check valve in between the heater and the salt cell. If this is something that you have on your swimming pool, you can guarantee that heater is going to fail early. And if it's under warranty, it most likely would be denied a warranty claim through the manufacturer due to the lack of that check valve in there. Uh, I guess in that case, you'd pursue the installer. Uh, perhaps to discuss with them why uh, they didn't install the, the heater in such a way or a check valve to protect the heater. Um, but in most cases, the uh, the responsibility will fall onto the pool owner to uh, be aware of these things, which most pool owners are not. Uh, and that will absolutely end up costing you one day if that's the case. So if you have a heater and you have a salt water cell, be sure that you have a check valve installed between the two to prevent the chlorine that's being generated from actually destroying the heater.